Hey, what's up? Welcome back. Uh, it's Alex here with another Minecraft Forge money tutorial for Minecraft 1.12.2 in Kotlin, right? So last time we did a lot by um, doing a lot of setup. I did some explanations and I hope um, it at least made sense. By this time, I don't, I'm not able to answer any questions because I am recording this video uh, immediate the the immediate day after I had recorded and uploaded the first one and I might make another one but I'll definitely answer some questions in the future regarding Kotlin and stuff like that because I know that Kotlin is kind of new or kind of is pretty different compared to um, Java but anyways in this one we're gonna start messing with items and blocks so let's go ahead and do so so first off we need to create an event handler and the event handler is going to allow us to register our excuse me it's going to register our um, blocks and items right so we're going to do um, below our main mod object here we're going to do objects uh, event handler and then we're going to do at um, mod dot event bus subscriber and then we're gonna need to do mod ID equals mod ID because this event handler needs to be associated with a mod and if you don't make it associated with the mod then forge doesn't know which mod it's associated with right so now we need to create a function for registering items so we're gonna do fun register items and inside of here we're gonna do events colon and then we're going to do um, registry event dot register. And then we are going to um, import registry events. And then right here in, at the end of register, we're going to do the angle bracket. So shift comma, you know, and then we're going to do um, item. And then import item. And then the function body right okay cool so now what we're gonna have to do is we're, we're gonna need to call event dot registry dot I mean no sorry sorry not not quite yet uh, so we're gonna need to create an item next uh, so we have this all ready for us sorry I, I, I kind of just woke up like an hour ago or something anyway so we're just gonna create an object and it's an um, items and blocks and whatnot are actually singletons so we need to make this a singleton so object tutorial item it'll just be a quick tutorial item before we do anything fancy with it right but I promise we'll do like actual realistic stuff with it mm. sorry I took a drink and then we need to do space colon item, right? And then we need to put print um, parentheses after af afterwards. Sorry, because we need to call um, call the super constructor. And so when you do this, you are instantiating a new item. And when um, typically in um, oh wait, no, not typically, but just to visualize it, by default, what we're doing is um, typically we would make this a class. In the, um, this, the primary constructor, this is the default primary constructor, which would be called um, upon initialization, which uh, the super class would, all, would then also need to be initialized. Sorry, hold on. So you're going to have to initialize the super class, but since we're an object, then it's initialized upon the first use of this. And I'll show you what I mean when we get to registering it. All right, so now we need to do init. And this is the primary constructor body. So in Java, you would do something like so in Java, you would do something like public class tutorial 
item extends item and then in here you would do like public tutorial item and then you would just do like fuck I don't know like this dot set registry name and then new resource location right right so you would just do something like that this dot set unlocalized name some name right so in Kotlin this is all done the same as this right so this right here is where you put all this in okay so that's what the init block is it's the primary constructor in, um, in the initialization block so this gets called upon initialization of the primary constructor now sorry um now we need to do this dot registry name equals and now this may seem confusing but since kotlin has properties anything that starts with set or get so for example if we go into item and we uh, just search for set registry set registry oh, right set unlocalized name like that uh, Kotlin just truncates the set, lowercases the U, and then makes that into a property. And then, you know, it just turns all of this into a, excuse me, into a property setter, and it uses this instead. Right? So um, it's still, so when you set this, it really calls this. Or you can call this explicitly if you want. For whatever reason, but yeah, you you can totally do that. So let's just set this to tutorial item. This is. Hmm. Sorry. We need to set this to resource location, and then put in our mod ID. There. And now you may be wondering why isn't there a new? Well, Kotlin doesn't have a new keyword. You just, you just, because the constructor is a method. Why would you need to use a new keyword when the constructor is essentially a function that gets that that gets executed upon the construction of the of the class or object? So that's really just kind of how it works. So this dot um on localized name equals tutorial item and then this dots let me see here creative tab we can set a creative tab yeah let's go ahead and set a creative tab equals creative tabs dots let's just say miscellaneous and then this dot let's see here what else do we want to do Excuse me. It's been a while since I've made items, so hold up. Uh, let's see here. That seems to be about it, really. Yeah, that seems to be about it, really. You can kind of look through and see what kinds of... Has subtypes, that's if you want, like, um, you know, so, you know so, something sort of like dies is damageable that means that every time that it gets used um, its durability goes down rather than just eating an entire uh, item stack max damage that's um, for this is repairable that's for the anvil and then max stack size you can set that to whatever you want that's just how big item stacks can be and then let me see here that seems to be about it for this, yeah. Now, uh, that's really all that we're going to do for now. Let's go ahead and register this. We're going to do events.registry.register. 
and then we're just going to call tutorial item. Notice how there's no like parentheses because this is a singleton. The second, the first time that this gets called just like this, because you're using it at, as an object, right? It's a class that um, that is um, a single object that gets used all throughout the program, right? So there's only one instance of it, and that's this instance. It gets turned into an object the first time that it gets um, that that it gets called. So right here is where it's going to be turned into an object, and this init block is going to be called for the first time. Okay. So now let's go ahead and move on to the next step. We need to go into our resources here. We need to create um, right click new directory assets. And then inside of assets, we need to do new uh, directory. And then we need to do our mod ID, which is, uh, God, what was our mod ID? Fuck whatever mod so let's just copy paste our mod id new directory into there and then inside of whatever mod we're going to do new directory and then we're going to do um like it's been so long since i've done this uh it was uh let me go take a look see at a repository just to refresh my memory. Yes, resources. Models, that's right. So models and then items. So we need to do models. I totally thought so, by the way. I totally thought so, I knew it. And then new item. And then inside of here, <clears throat> we're gonna do new. And then let me see here, if you have a JSON file template, which I don't seem to have. Yeah, I don't seem to have it here. So I'm going to click file and I'm just going to type in tutorial mod dot JSON. And this has to be the same exact name as you gave your items registry name. Okay. So just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy paste some things so i i already have a model here open actually i'm going to show you where you can find uh whoops so we're, we're going to do Control shift alt n that's going to allow us to find anything oh that's symbols never mind sorry there we go Control shift n lets you find non-project um just lets you find any file. It doesn't have to be a class, it's just any file. All right, so we're gonna type in dot JSON. And then we're gonna look for, let me see here. Let's just do something simple like a bowl. Oh, that's a crafting recipe. Yeah, we should also probably pay attention to this right here. This is where it's at. So block states, recipes, recipes, recipes. We need to find recipes, block states, recipes. Oh, God. More block states and recipes. Oh, my God. Why? So many of them. What the hell? Aha! Here's one. So I guess we can just steal this one real, um, right here. So just ally, uh, just allium.json. Copy this JSON here, paste it into here. And where it says layer zero, we're going to want to put our mod ID. So whatever mod colon and then we're gonna need to do um, items slash tutorial mod actually let's not make a texture just yet I'll show you how to make textures in a different video so this one we're just gonna 
um, keep it simple. Let's just do items. We're going to use a vanilla item um, texture. So just items slash. Let's just do, oh, God, apple. Whatever. Just do whatever you want. And that, and that should be it for the model, right? And that's it for, for that model. It should work. Right, so now let's go ahead and just give it a whack. <coughs> Excuse me, and run it. Let's see if it works. It might, it might not, and it's all part of the programming experience. Just figuring things out. New version of Kotlin. Yes, I know. I have not gotten that yet. Project Share, blah, blah, blah. And there we go. And I'll also, at some point, get into showing you how to use um, the debugger inside of IntelliJ once that moment comes, right? And it popped open on my other screen. Let me drag it over here. And um, I think I'll save blocks for a different time. I know I said I was going to do items and blocks in events, but I think I'm just going to stick to items for the next few videos. And then I'll do blocks as a separate series of videos because there's a lot to cover with blocks. Because I want to because I want to cover everything sequentially with items. I want to cover... Um, Basic items, I want to cover item events such as right clicking an item, I want to cover item durability and damage, I want to cover, um, let me see here, I want to cover really just, you know, oh, special items such as weapons and armor, you know, I, I want to cover all sorts of things like that, and then once we get to blocks, I want to cover basic blocks. I want to cover block events, such as right-clicking a block or destroying a block. And then I want to cover um, a tile, a tile entity blocks. And then I want to cover, you know, so just pr pretty much everything in sequential order. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and create a new world. And we'll do creative uh, let's go ahead and do super flat and call it good let me just take a bite of my pizza real quick mm. that shit's good okay now go to miscellaneous And it's just going to look like an apple just placed randomly into the tab. Oh, you, shit. Totally forgot. I'm sorry. I need to mention something. So in... <laughs> Jesus Christ. So in our event handler, we need to mark this as, um, as subscribing an event. And then we also need to do at, um, and then at JVM static. Okay, so subscribe event tells Forge that this function is subscribing to the events that is um, used that is passed into the parameter, and then a JVM static is a Kotlin thing. It tells the Kotlin compiler that this function needs to be compiled statically, and you can only call this inside of objects like this it's have objects or companion objects don't worry about what a companion object is we're never going to use them like ever um well maybe there's one instance where we might <coughs> excuse me where, where we might use it but yeah so jvm static and subscribe event and then we can run this fucker we could try it out and if it still doesn't work then that's my fault because I haven't done event um, items in a while, so. I 
I'm sorry if you can hear me chewing. I'm not trying to make that like on purpose. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just hungry. Hmm. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. Yeah. No, really. I'm eating DiGiorno. Oh, okay, yeah. Minecraft is ready. And also eat my pizza, Minecraft. Fuck you too. I'm still gonna eat the rest of it. I don't care. Let's do, uh, let's go into miscellaneous again. Scroll all the way down, there it is. Oh. Well, unless we have our item. But, it has no model. So where's our model? Let's go figure that out. Right, so. Here we go, missing variant exception. Block state location exception. What? Model loader registry loader exception. Um, I think I've totally forgot something. I'm looking through a repository here just to remember what I'm supposed to do. So. Event handler, yeah. Nope. Oh, damn. What am I doing? Oh, shit. Totally forgot. I'm sorry. My fault. So, we need to create another one called fun um, register models. And then events, model, registry, events. And then at JVM static, at subscribe events. So this is going to let us register our model. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to call game registry dot. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Mm, no, sorry. Model loader dot set custom model resource location. And this is going to be tutorial item and then zero and then model resource location tutorial item dot and then registry name and then inventory. Import model resource location. What's going on here? What's going on here, boy? Oh, it's nullable. So, what needs to happen is we're going to use an Elvis operator. So here, we need to do question mark, colon, return. What this means is if registry name is null, return. So this line doesn't... Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Does it get um, executed? That means the um, that means this item's model does it get set if the registry name is null, and that way we'll actually know that there's uh, that there's something wrong um, here, and we and we could probably just look and see like. Why isn't it being set? But all the other ones are. Oh, we made a return. If this is null, let's go ahead and take a look. See in here, we have this set. But imagine if that wasn't. And if that wasn't set, this is going to return. And we're going to see that this wasn't set. And we're going to look here. Oh, we never set the registry name. Let's go ahead and set it. And do a little bit of running just like that. That's right, I did it. Yep. I totally botched this. But I am a little sick. I did just wake up. And I'm 
switching my my sleep schedule to nights because I'm working night shift at or night shifts at a factory starting Monday here in a couple days. So I'm a little out of it, but I can still do do shit. Why is Discord telling me that I have a notification? Where, who is this? Oh, okie dokie. What is this? Police urge public to report insults that hurt feelings. Whatever. Okay. Yep, but that person. Yep, a frickin' deppers. There it is, but what is going on there? Why is that happening? Uh, what? No, dude, it shouldn't be doing that. You're crazy, you're crazy, boy, you're crazy. You are crazy. Did we spell something wrong? I really hope not. Whatever mod, models, item, tutorial mod that Jason should be good. Unless I'm being totally stupid right now. Ah, here we go. File not found exception. Whatever mod, models, item, tutorial, item, dot Jason. Whoops, a daisies. That should be tutorial item. That's right. I knew that all along. That was a test. That was a test, ladies and gentlemen. And if you didn't catch on to that, then you're just like me. Stupid. No, I'm just joking. Um, so yeah, anyways. <coughs> oh, <let's> get <coughs> Jesus Christ. Most professional tutorials ever. Am I right? Yes. Hold up. Okay. What were you talking about now? And we're good. So let's go ahead and load up our world again. Yeah, oh, check it out, check it out, no. Doesn't do anything, doesn't do anything. We can probably just go attack some slimes or something. Just mm. Take my apple, bitch. Go on, take it. Oh, oh, what now, dance. Yeah, dance. I'm a, oh, no, no, those are the block. Oh, 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 okay, I'm done. Let's just make it do something. Just real quick. So we're going to do um, override. So we're going to override something. We are going to do like, um, here, let's do override fun. Oh, what? No. -uh. Override fun on. Let me see here. So on item right click. Let's just do something when the item right clicks. Yeah. We're going to have to put here um, action results. Dot new result or are we doing enum action results dot success lo what ah uh, I know what the problem is action results dot new result and then what is this what's the next one value uh, yes yes would this dot stack no item stack this yes yes okay let's just do like I don't know player in dots let's just um I don't know send ch send message send status message let's do that text component string and then we're going to do, um, 
We're gonna do What's up? It works. Yeah. And then we're gonna need to do <coughs> true so that it's in the action bar, which is right above the hot bar. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. And after this, I'm gonna end the video and I'm gonna have to like go and like, I don't know, do it, do, do, do other stuff. Oh, and I said these videos are going to be a lot shorter, but whatever. Beggars can't be choosers, right? Beggars can't be choosers. That's why Trump is president. Yep, most professional ever. <coughs> <coughs>